Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 22621.1192, which is released to insiders in the Release Preview channel on Windows 11, version 22H2. Starting with this build, Microsoft is making a change in Release Preview, to reduce the number of reboots that customer experience when upgrading. Starting this month, when customers upgrade to Windows 11, version 22H2, they will get the January optional quality update, KB50-22360, and the .NET update alongside the feature update. This means when you upgrade to Windows 11, version 22H2, you will get the feature update with the latest and greatest security fixes, for both Windows and .NET all with only a single reboot. Talking about the new thing introduced to this build, Microsoft has changed the experience for preview.NET framework updates. After you installed this update, all future preview, .NET Framework updates will be displayed on the Settings, Windows Update, Advanced Options, Optional Updates page. On this page, you could control which optional updates you wanted to install. Talking about the improvements made in this build, fixed an issue that affected Search Indexer.exe. It randomly stopped you from signing in or signing out. Fixed an issue that stopped you from searching for a file based on the file's contents. Fixed a resource conflict issue between two or more threads, known as a deadlock. This deadlock affected COM Plus applications. Fixed an issue that affected Conus.exe. It stopped responding. Fixed an issue that might have affected the domain name system, DNS, suffix search list. When you configured it, the parent domain might have been missing. Fixed an issue that might have occurred when the input method editor, IME, was active. Applications might have stopped responding when you use the mouse and keyboard at the same time. Fixed an issue that might have affected Find Window or Find Window X. They might have returned the wrong window handle. Fixed an issue that might have occurred, when you converted or reconverted Japanese kanji, using a multi-byte character set, MBCS, app. The cursor might have moved to the wrong location when you typed. Fixed an issue that might have affected applications that used Microsoft Edge WebView 2 to display content. Applications that used WebView 2 included Microsoft Office and the Widgets app. The content might have appeared blank or grayed out. Fixed an issue that affected certain systems that had firmware trusted platform modules. TPM. This issue stopped you from using autopilot to set up those systems. Fixed an issue that affected picture files you found using search on the taskbar. This issue stopped you from opening those pictures. Fixed an issue that affected mstsc.exe. It stopped responding while connecting to a remote app and desktop connection. Fixed an issue that affected a group policy for expanded toasts. Fixed an issue that caused Windows Server 2022 domain controllers, DC, to stop responding. This occurred when they process lightweight directory access protocol, LDAP, requests. Fixed an issue that affected the resilient file system, ReFS, MSBA tag. The issue caused a non-paged pull leak. Fixed an issue that affected the ReFS. The issue caused high non-paged pool usage, which depleted system memory. Fixed an issue that affected devices that were subject to Microsoft Exploit Protection Export Address Filtering EAF. Some applications stopped responding or did not open. These included Microsoft Office and Adobe Reader. Fixed an issue that affected some game controllers. When the game controller was connected to the computer, the computer might not have gone to sleep mode. So, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.